Well, first of three, yeah. Three minute rounds. Referee Sam Hamidi brings together Billy Boy McDowell, Adam Neelock. Sharp on the jab, the blue corner from the off. Shaping up well, these two just trying to find the hole. Makings of a good bout, you can tell from the way they've squared up. down from the fight fit systems gym good evasions finding the shot as well off that but I think this is going to be a well matched bout just looks like both guys have got different attributes a little bit taller in statue in statue rather it's no luck here but both guys exchanging shy of his jab here he's taller uh, opponents who start struggling to get in tight though at the moment and no real clean punches going for me big bombs but that's a good shot with the right hand just teeing out with the left hook to cover that ground Dives in with that right hand against Tagged. I'll tell you what, it's very even first round. Again, wears him in. That is a very, very even first round for me. Well, Billy McDowell, a little bit shorter in stature, and but he's not wooden. You're going to be, you can't be pinned down by a taller opponent if you like that. And this guy's not a wooden fighter. He moves in and out very well. Sticks when he needs to throw a shot. Oh, he gets caught there. The chin height. It's a good exchange of punches, and still can't put much between them. Moving his head in, he's not confident jab, he wants to attack in bunches as uh, McDowell, he wants to roll fast combinations, he's got fast hands but sometimes he just needs to do some basics with the jabs. This fight isn't happening at the minute for clean shots, he's finding it hard to pin each other down and there's nervous energy from both fighters on the inside. Again, red corner, no jab when the fighter's coming in. He's a taller fighter, much taller in stature. But the left hand's non-existent for me. Down's got two hands, but he himself as well is not using it. There's the jab from McDowell. We're seeing it a lot more. He's going to take this fight for me now. A little bit up for me, McDowell. Well, third and final here, and it's one of those fights that's been missing the basics and had elements of good explosive combinations, but. 
just think both fighters a little bit calmer on another day would fight a lot better than what we're seeing so far here. Nice and light on his feet, McDowell. Oh, he's been caught there. Again, it looks right. He moves his head well. His body language is good, but... I'm not sure about his attributes when he goes to throw punches. He needs to keep his elbows down as well. Holding his head and... Looking a little bit sharp overhead there. But where is the jab from the red corner? The, I really do find it unbelievable here. It's EBA and C A B A K here in Essex. Now he's starting to pick him. Holds his head there. I'm not sure what they caught with that. It must have been a clash of heads there. Referee gives him time, but back on with it to go. You don't really want to lose momentum this stage of the game. But here's where he needs to be jabbing, not fainting. He needs to be jabbing away here. Now good shot to the body from McDowell. He tries to follow up as well, but he just get tied up on top of each other again. It's been a scrappy fight. It's been messy. Goes down to judges scorecards though. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of EBA boxing, our judges unable to separate these two warriors. It is a draw. So please raise the roof. For Adam Neeson and Billy, Mark Dow!